Hey there, hi there, I'm Aaron, and this is Camp Peculiar, a channel about using AI art for comics, animated stories, or really any kind of visual storytelling that you can think about. Hey, guess what? We've got a comic to make today for the Camp Peculiar Instagram account, at Camp Peculiar if you're interested, and you want to know what it's going to be about? Me too. I don't actually know yet. We haven't made it. I don't know who, what the character is or what the bit is. I have no idea. And that's what we're going to do on this video, but we're going to do it in a very interesting way. We're going to talk about Adobe Photoshop's built-in neural filter called Smart Portrait. It's one of its AI filters built into Photoshop, and it's used to take portraits of people and make old people look younger and make young people able to create fake IDs. That was a joke, Adobe. It's just, it's a neat filter that can change the age of a portrait, which means we can use it to generate portraits of a father and a son, which we can use in a comic, a daughter and a mother. We can tell stories about time travel, perspectives over life, alien abductions, whatever requires you to have the same character at different ages or a character that's in some sort of generational timeline or something like that. Hey, are you guys ready to take a look at it? I know that I am. So to access it in Photoshop, you just go up to Filter, choose Neural Filters, and then over there on the right, you can see Smart Portrait, listed as the first one under the featured. If you don't have it downloaded yet, you'll see a little cloud icon next to it, and you can click it and download it real quick. And then, not right now, but in a second, you can just toggle it on, and we can play around with all the different settings to try and generate an AI character for our comic. But let's talk about that because we want to push the limits of this filter. We don't want to just take a photo of a person and put it in there. We want to figure out how far we can go to use this in comic storytelling. So before we go over how the smart filter works, which won't take any time at all, let's generate some characters in Mid Journey or Stable Diffusion, and we're gonna do different levels of craziness. We're gonna start off with just realistic, and then we're gonna go into the weeds and see what can the smart portrait feature handle. So this first one should be pretty easy, and I don't know if it'll make it into the comic, but it should be pretty easy for Smart Portrait. We're gonna go Fishmonger, that's somebody who sells fish, middle age, posing for a portrait, photorealistic. Oh, it's looking dandy. It's looking fantastic. I see some uh, Renaissance looking guy maybe coming through, a fish, and I wonder how these hats will work, but I think upper left is gonna be okay. So I think that one's fine. Let's move on to something a little more crazy, and that's gonna be a marketing expert, middle aged, posing for a portrait medium length hair, octane render, unreal, render man, portrait, all that stuff. All right, our marketing experts getting ready to audition for today's Camp Peculiar uh, social media comic. Uh, they're they're going to audition here. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, we got some real medium. This guy's definitely a marketing expert. You can tell uh, by the very like uh, teacher at the uh, school for witchcraft and wizardy look on his face that this guy knows a lot about marketing. All right, so we have our second candidate, the marketing expert, done. One of those is definitely usable. And so now let's go into a little bit more of the stylized type of artwork. We're going to go puppeteer, middle-aged, long hair, realistic, painting Norman Rockwell, who was a painter that I'm sure you're familiar with. I would be happy to write a comic about a puppeteer who was middle-aged posing for a portrait. I don't know what that comic would sound like quite yet, but let's see if we even get anybody. Let's see if we get something usable. Okay, wow, I am terrified by what we got back from Mid Journey. I think Puppeteer Middle Age is, is a definitely a scary prompt. We're going to move on. And what we're going to move on to in order to test the limits of the smart portrait filter is a school bus driver. That's middle aged, not wearing a hat, with short hair. Uh, we'll go with Pixar movie style caricature illustration to try to get even further away uh, from what would be a photo. All right, next one up is we're going to go with a tugboat captain, middle-aged, posing for a portrait, pen and ink caricature. Uh, maybe we should add the word comic book style in there. I feel like we should at the sort of midpoint here. And we're going to not, we're not, we're not saying no hat here because I would never deprive a tugboat captain of their hat. It's one of the most important pieces of equipment that they have on them. So I'm hat or no hat. We're, we're doing with what we got. Oh yes, we got, we got a, he's got an ear I'm gonna have to take care of, but we got a great tugboat captain. I'm very excited about that. All right, all right, and the last prompt, of course, is gonna be a human brontosaurus, middle-aged, posing for a school portrait. Look, I know there's no more brontosaurus, all right? It's an, it's an apatosaurus, an aptosaurus now, or, or always was. It was never a brontosaurus, but this is the AI art, and I'm allowed to do what I want. I'm going with a brontosaurus middle-aged pos posing for a school portrait. The conflict has gotten real on uh, video 14 here for Camp Peculiar. The, the, the brontosaurus is difficult to generate. 
All right, here we go. Here is your uh, Camp Peculiar Instagram webcomic possibility lineup for issue whatever it is, 14. We got the Fishmonger done in a realistic style. Oddly not as realistic as number two here. We got the marketing expert, unreal photorealistic. The puppeteer making a play there with his, his puppet and obviously the controls for that puppet. We have a school bus driver. I did those in two different styles. Probably use this more cartoony one because the whole point is to push the smart portrait filter. Then we have our uh, tugboat captain. And last but not least, our brontosaurus posing for a school picture. We ended up getting something with at least two eyes and I gotta be happy about that. We have some backup options here to see how those work. This is our lineup of possibilities. Let's go ahead and open up the Neural Filter Smart Portrait. And the thing you wanna have done first is you wanna have the layer of the portrait that you wanna you know, try to change the emotion on or get younger or older versions of. Let's go over these features really quickly. Uh, you can uncheck or check the auto balancing of combinations which tries to give you a more natural or sort of appealing result. We're doing comics, so we don't care about that. So we're gonna turn that off. And then you have the featured settings here, which do happiness, facial age, hair thickness, eye direction. These are the fun ones underneath here, surprise and anger. You can also change under the global settings, head direction, light direction. Then there's some settings there that you can look at. And with most of these neural filters, you can output them on the current layer, a new layer, new document, new document mask, all those things super helpful, but we duplicated it. So we're just ready to go. And I think this guy, because he's a successful fishmonger, is going to be not only extremely happy, not angry at all, a little bit surprised about his success and very young and a lot more hair. Because when he was young, he was kind of a rebel. He's like, I'm gonna do the fish industry different. When I sell fish, it's gonna be the real, real things. So this is not your dad's fishmonger, this guy right here. Yeah, see, he's excited, he's happy, he's ready to take on the world. Let's move on to our marketing expert here. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that layer really quickly, make sure it's selected, filter, neural filter, smart portrait. So we got face detection is good. We're gonna go ahead and flip it on, turn off auto balance combinations. And this guy, you know, he's like, he's gotten into the whole game of marketing where he's totally like just he's watching YouTube videos and just signing up for courses left and right. So he's not terribly happy and it's made him look a little bit older. The good thing is whatever hair he's had, he has kept, but he's definitely, you know, like a little, little angry at, at what's gone on with his life. Yeah, all right, this guy definitely, has seen, seen better. I feel really bad about what we did to our marketing expert. Like the game, the game of marketing, of analytics, and just trying to do funnels and clicking all the time has definitely aged this guy. There we go. We have him before or after after his career and when he was ready to just take on. This was when he was taking meetings. Like he was riding the elevator, getting his parking validated and, and showing up. And he was saying things like, man, we're just looking for like conversion metrics and step down funnels and, and whoopity doos. And people are like, this guy knows what he's talking about when it comes to marketing. Marketing. And then he's like, it was all, it was all stuff I was making up in my head. Okay. Now let's go to our puppeteer. We're moving into a slightly more illustrated style. We got facial detection on, so that's good. And I think this puppeteer is incredibly happy and very surprised. And also uh, let's try to change his head direction. So he's looking a little bit more his puppet. That's his buddy there. His buddy's name's Albert, clearly Albert, the almost bird. Um, and so he's looking at him. So we want to change his facial direction. He's just enamored with Albert, the almost bird. We need to change his eye direction too, to get him looking over there. When you mess around with the head direction, there's also this little setting under global settings to fix head alignment, which tries to clear up issues with the way that the neck aligns with the shirt. I need you to look at Albert the Almost Bird. The head direction's definitely right. I just need him to look down. I need you to look down at Albert the Almost Bird. What happens if we go the other direction? All right, it's good enough. And this is where you can see an example of where auto balance combinations comes in as we, we've pushed the limits of these particular sliders uh, so that they are a little bit broken at the moment. So we'll go ahead and turn auto balance combinations back on. And here we go. We have our puppeteer who is so excited. This is his first time really at a publicity photo for the great puppeteering work that he's done. And he literally does not know how cameras work. So he's just excited. They're like, smile. And he smiled with his eyes, which is kind of endearing when you think about it. We're going to go with this uh, with the bus driver who's done in a more uh, illustrative style. And we're going to hope that when we go up to filter uh, neural filters that it picks up a face. All right, it did pick up a face. She's already plenty happy. And I say like, you know, she gets to spend all day 
uh, with kids, and that makes you happy, especially ones that are on the way to school. They're always such an, in such a delightful mood. So we're going to even make her more happy. And they've kept her young. Like Taya, she's driving the bus, and she's talking to them about you know uh, Roblox and whatever's going on on TikTok. Uh, so we're going to make her a little younger. And she's really trying something new with her hair so she can hide the tears that are behind it. And we'll see what that does. Yeah. All right. I wonder if we'll be able to get the t- the tugboat captain. Black and white. I've actually never done black and white before with the neural filter. So let's check it out. We're looking for a box. Hey, we got a box. We'll turn off auto balance, give this guy some hair and age him up a little bit. But you know what? He's had a great career. Let's turn back on auto balance combinations and see what we can do. So I think the hat is a real problem. So what I'm going to try real quick, just because this is for comics and we'll need to do this, is I'm going to separate the hat from this guy here and create just the face and hope that that works. Yeah, it did. It did him a cool smile. So this is like a great way, or it's at least a way. So we'll hit OK on that. Put the hat back on, and now it needs to come down just a little bit. All right, last one, just for fun. Let's do one of these dinosaurs. And this is what you're hoping to not get. No faces were detected for this image, which means you can't do it at all. So we found the limit of the smart portrait feature and learned a little bit about how we can use that to take one image from mid-journey or stable diffusion and age or de-age the character, get them to look slightly different directions and put different facial expressions on that. I hope that helps you out with your own comic series, your web comic. I've got a comic to make for Camp Peculiar, so I'm going to get at that uh, right now. Probably something that you're watching me do in the background as I tell you that you should like and subscribe to this channel if you like visual storytelling, making comics, and want to use AI art to do that. You should follow uh, on Camp Peculiar on Instagram at Camp Peculiar. Get the get one of them low follow numbers because, you know, it makes you feel good that you were in on the ground floor and come up with a name for uh, Bronto, the Apatosaurus in the comments below. Uh, a lot of these people got names. Uh, Harold, the tugboat driver, uh, Randy, the marketing expert. I don't know what the uh, Pablo the puppeteer feels right to me. Uh, Janice, the bus driver. I need something for the Brontosaurus, or you can rename any of the characters uh, that I have named. Put those in the comments below, and I will see you next time.